Episode 14 is impressive. It seems to confirm that Gakua will never be able to replace Kiel Che in Zhang Yan's heart. Meanwhile, Kiel Che still has feelings for Zhang Yan. Although she wants to approach him, she restrains herself because she is already married and didn't want to trouble him. However, Kiel Che has changed. She isn't afraid to show that she cares for Zhang Yan, especially after what he did to help her. In the end, Gakua lost the bed and brought Zhang Yan to his lodging, freeing Kiel Che from her servitude. Upon seeing that Zhang Yan is alive, Kiel Che is relieved and thanks him for saving her. Meanwhile, Zhang Yan is also glad to see that Kiel Che is safe. But, having been shot by an arrow, it's likely that Zhang Yan will need to rest again. Since Kiel Che was released by Gakua, Yang Um questioned her decision. He offered to help her return to Joseon. However, Kiel Che decided to stay in Xinyang to assist Zhang Yan in his recovery. She regrets her earlier choice of not accepting Zhang Yan's help and was even seen crying secretly outside. So, in an attempt to repay what Zhang Yan did for her, Kiel Che will care for him until he recovers. Day by day, she takes care of him until she falls asleep beside him. When Zhang Yan awakens, he sees Kiel Che holding his hand and sleeping by his side, which makes him happy. He decides to sleep, not wishing to disturb her. After resisting for so long, Kiel Che finally holds his hand, overcoming her earlier reluctance to accept Zhang Yan's help. Meanwhile, Zhang Yan, wanting Kiel Che to continue caring for him, pretends to be ill even after his injuries have healed. Unbeknownst to them, both Zhang Yan and Kiel Che cherish every moment they spend together. That's why Kiel Che says, with his injured leg, I feel like he is all mine now. Since Kiel Che and Zhang Yan will always be together because of Zhang Yan's injury. While Kiel Che is taking care of Zhang Yan, Ku Jam is seen here, which means he has successfully brought Zhang Zhang back, as he promised Zhang Yan. So, Kiel Che will reunite with Zhang Zhang and decide to assist with the farming. It seems that as Zhang Yan's condition improves, Kiel Che informs him that she needs to leave for a while to assist with farming. Seeing her joyfully helping the people, Zhang Yan, watching from a distance, feels happy too. He finally sees a smile on Kiel Che's face, a smile she lost after enduring many hardships. Zhang Yan hopes that Kiel Che will live radiantly, like a flower. Because of this, he might ask her to return to Joseon later. However, before that happens, Kiel Che might encounter people sent by Wan Mu to Xinyang in search of her. I hope Wan Mu didn't instruct that individual to harm Kiel Che, especially if they see her with Zhang Yan. Since Wan Mu is likely aware that Zhang Yan is in Xinyang, he might suspect that Kiel Che fled from him to be with Zhang Yan especially when Yang Um mentioned his instinct that something might happen to Zhang Yan because of Kiel Che. There could be another conflict brewing between Zhang Yan and Wan Mu, especially since Wan Mu might resent Zhang Yan for aiding his wife in the slave market. Even though Wan Mu himself seemed to give up on saving Kiel Che after hearing what others told him about a woman being dragged into the captive market. Elsewhere, since Gakua upheld her promise to Zhang Yan, she might have a plan in mind to win Zhang Yan over. Given that the emperor cherishes her, she might use the emperor influence to pressure Zhang Yan in a way that affects the crown prince. Don't miss the upcoming episode showcasing the joyous moments between Zhang Yan and Kiel Che, as they both revel in each other's affection. Tune in next Friday. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.